Hey, yeah, it's Jessica here with Thrifty Shutterbug. I thought I would do a first impressions with this package that I just got. Um, I ordered it from eBay. It's a lot of um, dog figurines or job lot, I should say, not a lot of them, but a job lot of dog figurines. And other than photos, I haven't seen them. Um, you know, especially up close or anything like that. And I don't know any of the makers, if there are any. Uh, I took a big chance on it. Well, God, I say a big chance. I took a chance, basically. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping that um, I come out the winner. So, yeah, anyway, I got this for... How much did I buy this for? I can't even look now. It's on my phone. But, um, yeah, so anyway... I know the background's a bit different today. It's because I was actually uh, photographing some stuff that needs, like this thing, uh, that need to be listed. So um, I just got this and I thought no better time than to do the first impressions than right now because if I don't do it now, I'm gonna open the box and it's not gonna be a true first impression. So let's dive in. All right, let's see the best place to get this open. So anyway, what I'll have to do is I'll have to post um, a photo of the listing or maybe just a, some text on the side to say how much I actually paid for this. Okay. So we got some airbags to protect it all. Don't need any of that. Oops, some that are popped. That's not very good. Okay. Right. First one. Let me put this box somewhere good. And there's some styrofoam peanuts in there, which I will be using to, um, you know, package other stuff because I'm a big fan of saving things for, for packaging, not just to save money, but for the environment. So, you know, I may not always be here, but my kids and if they have kids and that sort of thing. So, and everybody else's kids. Right. Okay. Let me see. Okay, definitely vintage, I can tell from the bottom, but um, here's this little dog. What are they called? Are they Pekingese? I cannot remember um, what breed of dog. But anyway, it looks like it's in very good condition. Let me just look up close. I don't have my glasses on, so too much glare from the light. But anyway, I don't see any chips or cracks um do we have crazing on there i don't even see crazing so brilliant condition there's the bottom so no maker's mark but that's okay because what i've noticed is if you have a particular breed they tend to go faster than if you just list something as dog or puppy so um yeah what do you think we should list this one for i'm not sure yet i'm gonna have to look it up okay next Get the peanuts off. There's some bubble wrap. Again, I'll be reusing this. This stuff comes in handy. I'm sure if you're a reseller, you know. It's like plastic gold. Okay, so no maker's mark on this guy. Oh my goodness, so cute. Oh, what do you think? Maybe a spaniel? I mean, so many breeds, it could be spaniels, right? I think um, Patrick from Trusty Huckster was saying the same thing um, about spaniels. So yeah, not sure. And I could be wrong. Maybe it's not a spaniel, but again, like I said, no maker's mark. You can tell it did have a sticker on there and you could tell it's vintage, um, from the bottom and just the style of it. So very, very cute. Oh, there's some cold paint missing, you know, but I mean, that's just typical with the age of these kinds of things. So I don't see is that a crack? No, I think it just might be maybe some sticker residue or something right there. I'm going to have to clean that off. That should come off easily, I think. Oh, I love it. It's so hard not to keep some of this stuff. Okay, but it is for resale. Cannot wait for April 12th when everything opens up around here. And on the 17th, we're going to be able to go to Car Boots, which are like outdoor flea markets. So I'm super excited about that. That's my favorite part. I'm already planning like should I bring a wagon to carry all my stuff? Oh, look at this little one. Oh, it's doing like a little, you know, trick for, for its treat. Aw, 
Again, no maker's mark, no big deal, right? It's just adorable. Kind of looks maybe like a little beagle or something. Or just a generic dog, you know. Super cute. He's ready to get his treats on. He's all, uh, you know, doing his stand or whatever. I don't know. I have a dog. I should know these tricks. But she doesn't really do this one. We do paw most of the time <laughs> to get a treat. Right. And she probably is outside my office right now listening to me saying treat and getting excited. I can hear her kind of moving around. All right. Okay. She could bust through here if she really wants to, but the treats aren't in here, so she knows that's not going to happen, even if she comes in. Right. Okay. They, they did a really good job of wrapping this stuff. I'm happy about that because I've received some stuff in the past where, let's just say they could have done a better job, but... Whatever. But this one's in really good shape. Oh, look at it. It's a poodle. So I do know there are poodles in here. That's one thing I did notice um, from the photos. There we go. And it looks like there's some cold painted on nose and eyes. But doesn't seem to be any wear on there. And again, no maker's mark. But like I've said, not too fussed. Not too fuss. If they have a maker's mark, that's a bonus. But um, yeah, again, really good condition. I don't see any chips or cracks. I don't feel any either. Just double checking with my hands since I don't have my glasses on. There we go. So yeah, awesome. I believe there's more beagles in this too. Or not beagles, oh my goodness. <laughs> Poodles. Okay. Whereas Misty says, Poodle Schnuda. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, speaking of dogs, can you hear that barking in the background? That's Molly. <laughs> okay, so this is another poodle, again with some cold paint, but it is, um, the cold paint is worn. It's okay. Still don't see any chips or cracks. Don't feel any. There's the bottom. I'm very happy with this so far. Definitely happy. Um, you know, it's a lot of all the same thing. You know, in other words, just dogs. But you can't really go wrong with a dog. At least I, I don't think so anyway. <laughs> So, have you guys had any difficulty sourcing things, um, you know, during lockdown or if you're not in lockdown, at least during a time that you're not supposed to be going out as much? And if so, what have you done to, um, to try and get some stock in? Because, you know, with the way the algorithms of Etsy and eBay work, if you are not posting on a regular basis, then they're going to start showing your stuff less. So um, you really need to keep up on it, which has been really difficult for me to do um, during this time. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm just like really happy to get back into the swing of things. Sorry, this shirt is uh, bunching up on me. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's a little wired hair terrier. Oh, we had a dog like this when I was a kid. Her name was Candy. I didn't pick the name. Not not really my favorite name for a dog, um, but I, my mom did. Anyway, she was a really good girl, and this figurine looks just like her. Aw, and then there's the bottom. Again, good shape. I think I lucked out with this, although I sh probably shouldn't say anything too soon because um, I haven't opened all of them yet. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think really good condition. I hope it's focusing on that. It's really hard to tell on here. So if it's fuzzy or blurry, I apologize. Um, here we go. Right. Hmm. This one feels a little heavier than the other ones. They tape them up well. It's always a good thing. Whoop. Oh, right, and it's the other poodle that goes with this one. So 
This one looks a little bigger than the one I've already opened. Like slightly, you can feel the difference. Maybe it's like a, I don't know, a his and her couple or something. Maybe one's meant to be. Uh, oh, so this one has a, a tag on it. It says made in Taiwan. Right. So let me see. Where's the Where's the lens? Mm, whatever. I'm using the front facing uh, camera on my iPhone today so I could see where I am because I keep ending up being over to the side when I don't really want to be. Um, but yeah, it's not as good this the front facing camera. Anyway, good condition again. No complaints. The cold paint is all there. It even has its little toes painted. Well, painted on anyway. Um, again, I don't feel any chips or cracks. And there's a cat coming in. Hi, Squeak. He's trouble. He's gorgeous. He's absolutely lovely. And um, he can be a real cuddle bug, but he's also a jerk. <laughs> so, you know. And there he goes off again. He says, oh, you're not going to give me attention. I'm out of here. Oh, this one's taller, I think. Or longer, shall we see? I can't remember. Um... After I order it, I don't like to keep looking at it because then it's not as interesting when you get it when you've kind of examined the photos 500 times before they come in. So. Right then. Come on, Tate. This woman's going to get a really good review with the way she packed these. I'm so happy with how they're packed. Okay. Look at isn't he darling? Oh, Ooh, he's got a little number on him. It says 7774. I don't know if the camera can pick that up very well. Can you see it there? Just with the light. I only have light coming in from this side besides the stuff that's coming in behind me. But um, yeah, look at that. Again, amazing condition. Teeny tiny little marks probably from use from being picked up and cleaned. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. There we go. Right. So what breed are you? Hmm. Not a German Shepherd because there's no brown. Although it kind of looks similar to a German Shepherd, right? So. Oh, I thought maybe that what is this is a bit worn or maybe it's a manufacturer's defect let me see if I can show you you can see it right there still no chips though I mean honestly win win when there's no chips and no cracks listen to this dog can you hear her Molly she barks at every little sound all it takes is somebody to walk across the street they don't even have to be on our side of the road and she's barking at them <laughs> Or if the pup, ah, uh, somebody delivering the mail. That makes sense. Oh, she's quiet now. Okay. Uh, got the wife to quiet her down. <laughs> right. Is that everything? That's everything. Oh, I'm sad. No, I'm just kidding. I got, I got, uh, ooh. right. I'm just double checking. Feeling through the box and the peanuts and stuff, making sure there's nothing little that I've missed. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dogs. Eight dogs that are going to be up for resale. Um, although, I'd really like to keep this one. And I'd like to keep this one. But I'm not going to. Oh, I'm so sad. But, you know. I wish I could keep them on like a little shelf and just in, you know, like in my office and enjoy them um, until people buy them. But because I have cats, I get nervous because my cat Squeak loves to say jump across my mantle or jump on the mantle and walk across it. And those are my personal things. And every once in a while something does fall. So I uh, really don't want that with anything that would be listing. Uh, so they will have to be put back in bubble wrap and stored, um, up here on, uh, on my shelves inside a, uh, 
trusty little storage container. Yeah, I couldn't think of what I'm trying to say. What is wrong with me? Maybe I need more coffee. <gasps> I did actually start a coffee before I started taking photos and I forgot all about it. So I don't know about you, but I love my coffee. I know I live in England now and I should be drinking more tea and I do like tea, but um, coffee, coffee is my soul animal. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to go grab that coffee. I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to put these away, uh, take some photos and get listing. And uh, yeah, let me know what you're listing these days. If you're a reseller, if you are not a reseller and you just like to see vintage goodies, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you watchers and all of you subscribers. Speaking of, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you don't mind. Even a thumbs down if you didn't like it. I don't care. Whatever. Tell me your thoughts. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get to it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.